We continue now with Kimberly Eaton. She explains how city leaders are adjusting to the shift in power and ongoing fallout surrounding Baltimore's top office. Kimberly? And Denise, we've heard it from Acting Mayor Jack Young and City Council members. They're doing what they can to keep Baltimore moving forward, but there is undoubtedly the distraction of this ongoing scandal. An awkward game of musical chairs kicked off the first Board of Estimates meeting since Baltimore's leadership changed hands two days ago. And acting mayor Jack Young moved into his new seat as the city's leader. We have two mayors, one on leave and one actively running the city. And the mayor that we devote our attention to is the mayor who's running the city. Wednesday morning, city solicitor Andre Davis tried to explain the shift in power in a city with two leaders, but for now, no permanent occupant in its top office. The official word is that Mayor Catherine Pugh is still out on leave recovering from a reported illness that coincides with the fallout of her book sales scandal. Um, the process has to book yourself out, and I respect that process. Acting Mayor Young has declined to comment on if he thinks Mayor Pugh should resign, but says in her absence and the wake of controversy, city leaders are reviewing other contracts, checking for proper financial disclosures. We asked the law department to. I think it's 90 of the um, last contract before the Board of Estimates so that we can look at them. And some council members have called for Mayor Pugh's resignation. Others aren't commenting on that, but do say they support the investigation for the sake of clearing up any controversy. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.